You can learn a lot about sacrifice. We'll learn about female sacrifice and masculine sacrifice. But I'm telling you that's not gonna be out of my house because you don't know enough about Stalingrad. When you know everything about Stalingrad and HMS Hood and the Bismarck, when you have World War II and World War I completely memorized and you know more than me, you can watch fucking Sex in the City. But until then, you have more important things to learn. That's my creed, that's my house, that's the kind of woman I want. And when I say this, there's women out there who go, you're crazy or they? they're gonna talk, they're gonna attack me on the internet. But you tell, tell you what, I've never had a woman I'm with ever disagree with me, ever. She's like, okay. And then we'll sit there and we'll watch a documentary on Stalingrad and she'll go, you know, it's crazy what men go through. We don't even think about this. It's like, yeah, you're right. You don't think about the fact that right now, as we speak, five hours drive away in Ukraine, there are men dying in a ditch because they are not allowed to leave the country by law and all the women have moved to Warsaw and they're sitting in safety. And every single military age man is dying in the mud. Who gives a shit? Nobody. Who cares? No one. The women probably have new men by now. It's hard being a man. Masculine struggle should be respected by all genders, male and female. The more we respect masculine struggle, the better the world's gonna be as a whole. So yeah, if you're, especially if you're a man in a relationship in the Western world, you have to be very careful what PSYOP is going into your woman's mind. 